Then Champion, I... head for Orgrimmar at your earliest convenience. I will meet you there. The Alliance has sent word. They have agreed to the armistice. This bitter war is finally over. At last, we can begin to heal our wounded Earth Mother and the wounded Horde as well. One question remains. Who will serve as war chief? Perhaps you, Thrall, will... No. I told Sarfang I would not lead the Horde again. But perhaps the question is not who should become war chief, but whether there should be one at all. Though the Horde has changed through the years, for good or ill, we have always looked to a war chief to guide us forward. That legacy must end. The war nearly cost us everything. There is no place for a war chief in a time of peace. It is true. The Horde has changed. Our ranks have grown, and new voices have stepped forth to lead. This is what makes us strong. All of us, building a new future. Together. I wouldn't cross me if I were you. Farewell. Have lost a queen as well. The Forsaken are torn by turmoil and doubt. Many still love Sylvanas, even after all she has done. Others believe their home remains in the Horde. And you? Where do your loyalties lie? Where they always have, with the Forsaken. To be raised into undeath is to be forever haunted by the ghosts of your past. A caring hand can offer comfort through the pain. I see no crown upon your head. Are you the new queen they seek? No. I will speak on my people's behalf, but I won't rule them. There is another I believe will prove better suited to that task when the time is right. The love you hold for your people burns as bright as my own for the Maghar. I wish you good fortune, Lillian Voth. To us all, Overlord. <laughs>